Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be discussing Brandon Sanderson's short story, The Hope of Elantris. So, um, as you can guess, Hope of Elantris is in the Elantris universe, um, in the, well, in the Elantris world, within the Cosmo universe. Um, so if you want to just quickly get in and get out, um, this book is, pr sorry, this short story is pretty average, um, not fantastic, but it's an interesting little addition to the Elantris story and kind of fleshes some stuff out a bit, so if you're interested... Uh, and you and you want to just complete your Cosmere collection, you want to complete your uh, reading of Elantris, I'd say pick it up, it'll take, it took me like 15 minutes to listen to an audiobook or whatever, so, um, so it's very quick. Uh, I believe it's 45 minutes long. Uh, so yeah, that's the spoiler for you. So, to get into some spoilers, this story feels, um, like on the one hand, I kind of like what Brandon's doing here, because I enjoy when this sort of thing happens. I enjoy when authors take the time to, like, flesh out the universe a bit more and give us some more stuff in the universe, and I do like that. And I, I know that Brandon, um, he has a little um, aftertext from this book, and he's talking about how he wrote it for, like, a little girl who did a book report on Elantris, and he wanted to give her, like, a little, like, he made he named the main character after her. And that's very cute, and um, and it's very wholesome, and the, there's nothing wrong with this story. Um, but it is interesting, because it just feels a little bit like... Um, it just feels like it's sort of missing, um, missing, like, a, a thrust, like, a main point. Like, the thing is, in my opinion, when you tell a short story, even if it's within the context of a greater story, the short story should have, like, a, like, a narrative thrust and a theme or a, a point to it, right? And same thing with, obviously, novels, but it, to me it becomes more obvious with short stories, because, you know, if you're only writing a few pages, your theme should, and, uh, what's happening should be pretty easy to pick out, right? Um, some, for example, it might be harder to, like, to describe the entire plot of, the Way of Kings, but, you know, if it's a four-page story, you should pretty, pretty easily be able to pick out the plot, you know? Um, and this book, it just doesn't really have much going on, so basically what happens is this lady, she's looking after the kids in Elantris, um, the soldiers come in and try and, uh, kill her and the kids, but then, um, you know, the Shayod gets undone, she turns into a proper Elantran, and her friend kills the enemy soldiers. And it's like, this doesn't really, it doesn't really feel like much is going on. It doesn't really, like, and we kind of knew what was hap like something like this was going to be happening anyway in the background, and so it just feels like quite unnecessary and quite um like as if uh as if nothing's really hap happened. Even though it's interesting because there is some action scene stuff does happen, but I just was never particularly like entranced by it. And it is interesting as well because there are new characters, so um we're kind of expected to get to know these new characters very quickly. Um and so. I would just say that this uh, this story is, and I don't want to talk too much shit about it because it, it is a very wholesome idea. And he just wrote it for a little girl, and you know, he just, we just happened to be reading it. Um, and so, in terms of his intent, he wanted to write a nice wholesome short story for a little girl, and I, he absolutely achieved that. So uh, I don't want to talk too badly about it, but for me, I felt it was quite average, and it didn't really feel like it was really achieving much. Um, so sorry for sorry for the negativity. I love Brand Sanson, and the thing is as well, but this book isn't bad. Like you're not gonna like pick it up and be like, damn it, I'm so sad I read that. Oh, oh I say book, I, I mean short story. So. If you want a little bit more in the Elantris world, then absolutely uh, give it a read or a listen. And if you want um, just to complete your Cosmere reading, you know, um, then I'd also give it a listen because it is a Cosmere story. So if you want to just tick it off the list. And you're not going to be, like, sad that you read it. It's not going to, like, ruin your... It's not going to ruin your day. It's just not perhaps going to grab you, which is very much my experience. It didn't, like, make me terribly unhappy or anything, but I just didn't particularly feel super compelled. Um, See, so yeah, I'd give it sort of, like, a 6 out of 10. Like, functional, um, but not exactly uh, riveting. So, uh, so yeah, I hope you, um, I hope you enjoyed this review and, uh, have a great day.